Hey Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So just a quick look at what is happening in the dev channel for last week with the latest preview build 26120.751 which rolled out with the update KB5037874 and this latest dev channel insider build rolled out late last week on Friday. Now not too much different as to what was happening in the Canary channel um, but the first is that the update includes a small set of general improvements and fixes that improve the overall experience for insiders running this build on their PCs. And then the next is very similar to what happened in the Canary channel where as part of this update Microsoft say they are evolving the Copilot experience on Windows as an app that will be pinned to the taskbar. So they're moving it away from the system tray where it currently is in the stable and you can pin that as a standalone app to the taskbar and they mentioned that this enables you to get the benefits of a traditional app experience including the ability to resize move and snap the window and i actually think this is a step in the right direction if you do find yourself using copilot on a regular basis and then something else something else to take note of is that as part of the copilot um, experiences evolution as microsoft calls it um, on windows um, they are retiring the win and c keyboard shortcut because currently uh, in the stable version of windows 11 as an example if you use win and c on your keyboard it'll launch copilot on the desktop and that's because i think they're making it a lot more accessible now by giving you the option to pin it to the taskbar where obviously you can get easy access to copilot from there and then this also rolled out to canary and is available now in dev where they are beginning to roll out a new linked devices page in the settings on the settings accounts page that will allow you to manage um, PCs and Xbox consoles that you are signed into with your Microsoft account. Now just take note that this settings page will only show on the home and pro editions of Windows 11 if you've signed into Windows with your Microsoft account. And this has also started to make its way into the stable version with our latest optional bug fix C release update that rolled out last week. So this like looks like Microsoft is pushing out this new linked devices on the accounts page now across the board in stable and also in preview and then just the last one to mention for this video also rolled out to canary um, there's now new suggested replies in the phone link app for android devices and basically the feature is designed to make your messaging um, a lot more efficient according to microsoft and yeah we can see you'll see three contextually relevant reply bubbles to choose from when you receive a message and this feature is turned on by default so you can start using it right away according to Microsoft and you simply select um, a suggested reply and it will be sent immediately. So guys that's more or less what's happening uh, in the dev channel for last week and that build as mentioned rolled out late on Friday build 26120.751 with update KB5037874. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.